wish it could be easy Why is life so messy? Why is pain a part of us? There are days I feel like nothing ever goes right Sometimes it just hurts so much But you're here, you're real I know I can trust you bitter, angry. I don't really connect my church life and my life outside of these walls. I don't pray. And if I do, I'm usually accusing God of making bad choices for me. Saying that out loud actually sounds ridiculous. I know, but sometimes I feel that way. When I first became a Christian, God was so alive to me. He was drastically working in my life, and I was seeing the world in a fresh, new an exciting way. I know that God's word talks about suffering and persecution. I just thought I was done with all the hard times now because I was finally walking with Jesus. Guess not. So I've been pretty mad about it. Really mad, actually. And the thing is, I don't want to tell any of you. So I've gotten really good at hiding. I'm not good at hiding my anger unless I'm at church. And then I put on my best behavior on Sundays. Normally used throughout the week, and I'm nicer. Come Monday morning, do not double-cross me or I'll lose it. But only for a few minutes. I'm explosive, but it doesn't last for long. My life inside these walls and my life outside these walls haven't connected as deeply as they could. I guess I never really understood that they should be connected. I'm so angry. I'm so angry. So I hide. So I yell. Who is this God? Who is this Jesus? 
I used to know. I don't know if I've ever known you. God, please help. I don't know what to ask you for. God, please help. I don't know how to ask you. This is my prayer in the desert When all that's within me feels dry This is my prayer in my hunger and need My God is the God who provides This is my prayer in the fire In weakness or trial or pain There is a faith proved of more worth than gold So refine me, Lord, through the flame I will bring praise, I will bring praise, no weapon formed against me shall remain. I will rejoice, I will declare, God is my victory and He is here. Help me bring praise to you, Lord. Help me praise you, Lord. In the midst of my uncertainty. In the midst of my heartache. In the midst of my triumph. Help me praise you when I don't understand what you're doing. When it doesn't seem like you're working. When the cross seems so distant. This is my prayer in the battle. When triumph is still on its way. I am a conqueror and co-heir with Christ. So firm on his promise I'll stand. I will bring praise. I will bring praise. No weapon formed against me shall remain. a lot to say. So much has been said. I pray that you will help them. I pray that you will help me. I have a hard time seeing that I'm hurting others. I have a hard time hurting so much. Help me praise you in the midst of my battle with sin. Help me praise you when I'm being sinned against. All of my life, in every season, you are still God. I have a reason to sing. I have a reason to worship. All of my life, in every season, you are still God. I have a reason to sing. I have a reason to worship. call it lying, but I never thought it was. It's just how I express the way that I see things. Maybe sometimes I like to make the story a little better. I have a lot of observations, and I like to make sure that all of my friends know about them. I'm a really intuitive person, so I know what I see. I can read people so well. There's no need to ask them what they're thinking. I can already tell. You know what? It's really important, I think. The church is really lucky to have me. 
I can set the story straight around here. You know, I'm a huge help to my pastor. I let him know what is really going on. Sometimes he tells me that I have a problem with gossiping and lying. But you know, I make sure to tell him who the real gossips and liars are around here. I am the victim of lies. My family and I actually had to change churches last year because our reputation had been dragged through the mud. My dad was in leadership, and there were some who were determined to make that as difficult as possible. Leadership is never easy. We knew there would be challenges, but I never thought I'd see the day where gossip and slander created by fellow believers would destroy our reputation and our ability to minister effectively. Lies created out of thin air that spread like wildfire. Even after people were confronted, the damage had been done. I wasn't sure I wanted to return to church after that. I really enjoy conversation. I'm afraid to talk to anyone. People really trust my judgment. I don't trust anyone anymore. I'm really helping people. I've been hurt by people. God, you are so lucky to have me on your side. God. How could your people do this? Please help those who sin. Please help me, a sinner who has been sinned against. Help me help them be more obedient, like me. Help me to be more like you, Lord. Life hasn't turned out to be what I thought it would be. When I was little, grown-ups would ask me what I wanted to do when I grew up. I didn't say I'd like to get laid off. They've been constant uncertainty of what I'm supposed to be doing with my life. Fairly certain my game plan was a bit more stable and glamorous. And yet, over these last few years, I found myself stripped of everything familiar and comfortable. I lost my job because of cutbacks within the company. The person I thought I was going to spend the rest of my life with didn't feel the same way. I've had to move several times. Or then last year, when I when I went home for Christmas, I got to catch up with my cousin. At a family get together, she was on break from university. I'll never forget how different she seemed. The change was almost subtle, but impossible to miss. I asked her about it, and she told me that the change I saw was Jesus in her life. You know that got me thinking. I've always believed in God, and I've heard of Jesus. You know, the main character of Christmas and Easter. But who is Jesus really? And what does it mean to have a personal relationship with Him? I want the change that I saw in my cousin. I want it to take place in me. Here I am, a sinner, broken and in need of you. Take my life and wash my fears away. For you are the great I am. Rest assured. Feel your hand holding me until the darkness clears. A father to the fatherless, redeemer of my soul. My life is yours forever. My heart will always know.
I who am fragile, damaged. I who am seemingly insignificant, terrified of being known, desperately needing to be loved. I who shy from conflict when in my heart there is much being said. I who don't need anyone, but I know that I need someone. I who am afraid of you, of God. I who am angry, a tyrant, insecure. What will come undone for no man? I who have harmed and have been harmed. I who am weak, but would have others believe I am stronger than they. I who am bitter, scared, cannot believe that anyone would dare forgive me. I who intimidate, to prove to myself I am better, stronger, more capable. I who am divisive and prideful, a gossip. I who tear down and destroy through my lies. I who breed fear and uncertainty in others. I who build my kingdom and my kingdom alone. I who am subtle and wise with my transgressions. Submissive to no one, divisive to everyone. I who have been wronged, sinned against, hurting, I who need healing, I just want to feel whole. I who have been humiliated, disregarded, cast down. I who can't see that life could ever be good. I who have struggled, lost everything, lost myself. I who thought myself mighty, I who thought myself good. I who had once had plenty, but have been shaken by its absence. I who now see that I am desperately in need. I who am in need of a king other than myself, of a god other than my idols, of, of the a gospel. gospel. Jesus, you endured my pain. Savior, you all because of your love Maker of the universe Broken for the sins of the earth All because of your love All because of your love Jesus, I don't have to live a double life anymore. His grace 
allows me to set my mind on things above and not on the things of this earth. When I'm tempted to hide and pretend, God has given me the church, my family of fellow believers, to pray with me, hurt with me, rejoice with me, confront me, and love me. James 4, 8, draw near to God and he will draw near to you. Cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. Because of Jesus, I don't have to put on a show for other Christians. I can come to Jesus just as I am and give my church family the opportunity to love me just as I am. I don't have to lash out in anger. He has given me the Holy Spirit to help me with self-control. Because of His grace, I am able to repent and ask others for forgiveness when necessary. James 1.19 let every person be quick to hear, slow to speak, and slow to anger. Because of Jesus, I don't have to gossip. I need to repent and ask God and those I've hurt for forgiveness. Because of his grace, I can build others up with my words and tell the truth. I need my church family to hold me accountable, to love me enough to confront me, to pray with me and for me, and to constantly point me to Jesus. Colossians 3.8 But now you must put them all away, anger, wrath, malice, slander, and obscene talk from your mouth. Because of Jesus, I can forgive those who have sinned against me. Because of his grace, I can pray for the people who have hurt me. Jesus died on the cross so that God would forgive me of a debt I could never have paid. Because I can see my desperate need for forgiveness, I can forgive others. Luke 17, 3. If your brother sins, rebuke him. And if he repents, forgive him. Because of Jesus, my identity doesn't have to be in the things of this world. My job, finances, relationships, education, my looks, my goals. Because of His grace, my identity is in Jesus. God is at the center of my life, and the things of this world are secondary to Him. Ephesians 1.4 He chose us in Him before the foundation of the world. You did it for me. You did it for love. It's your victory.